Aloha, I'm Jim Stacy, and today on the Tiki Show, we're gonna visit one of my favorite backyard tiki bars, The Headhunter in San Diego. And in that DIY spirit, I'm gonna make you one of my own tropical creations, a cocktail like no other, The Incoming Squall. Stick around. Yeah, we're here in San Diego at the Headhunter Hut in my backyard. I've been collecting tiki stuff for 25 years, built this big A-frame in the backyard, an area to have my friends and me enjoy uh, the tiki culture and the tiki scene, drink good drinks, and enjoy life, you know? The A-frame was pretty much built when, when I had Bosco come over, and, and Bosco and I kind of worked together, and we, we, we came up with like the, the fascia boards and, and the, and the the crocodile up there and these panels were hand silk screened from a uh, tapa cloth print from an old Bally High menu I had. The Bally High in the New Orleans had that inside their A-frame. I, I, I wanted to come up with that aspect and Bosco and I came up with the door design and I don't know, it worked out perfect. I mean, it's like 18 feet tall, which it gives it the illusion coming out where it's even bigger when you walk up to it. It feels like you're walking into a real bar, you know, which I, that's kind of what I wanted to do, you know. San Diego boomed post-war. Uh, all these GIs came back from the South Pacific. It was, I mean, that's when a lot of the bars in San Diego really boomed. The Valley High, everything on Shelter Island was created to create this Pacific escapism. So it just, it lasted. All right guys, come on in. I wanted to feel like when you're sitting and you're drinking that it's here and not realizing it's like three layers up. The ceilings are like literally 18 feet tall. So every angle of the bar, you get a different look and there's like different things you see. And I, I hid all sorts of weird stuff up there. Tiki bars are ever evolving. Too, they are Which too, is yeah. one of the things that is nice because a lot of us who have home bars, we're always building and adding on layer upon layer. Like I feel like after doing this, going to Disneyland, I have a different view on like how much effort goes into making it look like it's been here for 40 years. It's a lot more deliberate. It has to look like, oh yeah, it just happened, and no, it didn't. <laughs> a tiki bar, or your, your home bar, is part of you and your collecting. Like, I've been lucky in my business to, to find cool shit for a long time, and I amassed it for a long time, and, and then I just kept buying more and more and more and more. That's awesome. More. <laughs> more. <laughs> more. <laughs> it's fun. It, it gets you away from your everyday BS. You know, when you have a home bar, you want your friends to occupy it. You want. That's when it comes it, to life. It, exactly. A tiki energy. bar, especially. The full to, energy. No in matter. It. You're here in the daytime. This is one thing I touched on earlier. You're here in the daytime. You think this is a cool bar. This place is completely different at nighttime. I feel like Indiana Jones. Like we were talking earlier, a lot of the bartenders who, who make drinks at four home bars make all their serves, make Flarna, make Orjat, or Orjit, whatever you, however you want to call it. I mean, they all make everything, and the, the drinks are insane, and, and Todd doesn't do this for a living. He just enjoys making drinks. Also, a lot of us who kind of like have hit, you know, maybe into our 40s that can afford houses now are living a little bit of a childhood fantasy. I mean, I am. Yeah, I, have, I also have a home tiki bar, and it's like with a lot of us, you know, into the tiki and the, you know, the Peter Pan syndrome and Disneyland and being in Southern California, and it just brings back lots of that good childhood feeling the tiki scene does. But at the end of the day, you look around, and you don't feel like it is a Tuesday <laughs> at six o'clock in the afternoon. Like you're on fucking vacation right now. Every day! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, folks, let's talk about one of my original cocktails. This is called an incoming squall. We're gonna be serving it in a tall Collins glass like this. This is one of my favorites. There's some components in this that I have made ahead of time. This is turbinado sugar and powdered ginger that's mixed together. We'll be rimming the glass with that. This is Steen's sorghum syrup. Folks in the South know what sorghum is. It's a real dusty, antique tasting syrup. It's not molasses but it's sorghum syrup. So molasses, a little bit more burnt taste, a little bit, definitely more iron content. It, it tastes like my great grandma's house to me because it was where I always had it growing up. 
And this is something I make. This is a coffee ginger turbinado syrup. It's been cooked down. It's equal parts ginger juice, turbinado sugar, and coffee. And that was three cups that have been reduced down to that. Let's get started with this drink, okay? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tie a cocktail napkin around the drink because we're about to get real sticky with this. I take the glass and I dip it into the sorghum syrup just like that and I rim it in the turbinado and ginger. And you can see it start to drip down the glass, real awesome. It's just beautiful lava-esque. Then I'm gonna take our pellet ice and I'm gonna carefully fill the drink with it. Now, the rooms we're gonna be using today is Smith & Cross, and we're gonna do a two ounce pour of it. All right, and Cruzan Blackstrap. I really like the super dark molasses-y nut on that. Here's another component of mine exclusively. This is my ginger beer, ginger, uh, pure cane sugar, a little bit of turmeric, and then lemon, and then it's got champagne yeast in it for carbonation. We top that with it there, and then we take a cocktail spoon, and we drizzle that coffee syrup right in that guy, okay? It gets dressed with a wheel of lime, two pieces of candied ginger, some lemon, a straw, and that, folks, is an incoming squaw. Cheers. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up.